every time that there is some sort of a catalyst of suffering, it's just reminding you to close the gap between the illusory separation and the intoxication of Maya and your person identity to re-identify yourself as God, to reunite as God. Every catalyst is just trying to fix the distortion. And the more that you turn around, the more that you unfreeze your will and choice from the algorithms and the scripts that we've perpetuated with our conditioning, and rather we sovereignly turn inward and unite with this very force of creation, re-identify yourself with the very force of creation itself. I am the force of creation. I am source expressing itself as God playing with itself. That's all you need to do. You will no longer see separate people. You will see everything as God playing with itself. You will see everything as a divine exploration. You will see this entire universe as an appearance of infinity. It's that simple. Radically know, love, and accept yourself. Again, radically know, love, and accept yourself. And... Relax the contracted identity from the person to God, to the very source of creation itself. If you do those two things radically, know, love, and accept yourself, see yourself as God sees you with that same love, have the same love for yourself that God has for you. Because you are that. There is no gap. It's an illusion. But it's up to you to disassociate yourself from the contracted energy of personhood towards being God. Towards recognizing yourself as God, as source, as the one infinite creator expressing itself in this creation. So again, the two things. Know, love, and accept yourself radically, truly. Unconditionally. And the second thing, shift your identity from being a person to being God. To being the very source of creation itself. And see, everywhere you look is all God playing with itself everywhere is that and that is the eradication of malevolence that is the eradication of suffering you will no longer inflict malevolence because you will truly know yourself you will truly be a gnostic being you will know yourself as source as the one infinite creator expressing itself and you will see the one infinite creator source god everywhere you look playing with itself you'll come from there rather than coming from your person conditioning you will come from god you will come from a pure place of serving your own creation that's as simple as we can get spirituality know love and accept yourself and identify yourself as God, as source, not as the person. <laughs>